Hey YouTube, I recently got a hold of a small three-phase power supply to help show off how three-phase induction motors work. But before I show off my demo motor, I'm going to have to quickly go over what is three-phase electricity and why do we use it in the first place. The easiest way to explain three-phase electricity is to start with where normal single-phase electricity comes from in the first place. If you take a coil, split it in half, and put a magnet in the middle, you actually have a single phase AC generator. As you spin the magnet, the polarity of the magnetic field changes direction, passing through the coil, causing a voltage to develop on the coil that changes direction in the same frequency that the magnet changes direction. This produces a single voltage that goes from zero up to a maximum, down to zero, to a minimum, and then back to zero. To make three-phase electricity, you add two more coils to the same setup, but each coil is offset 120 degrees from the other coils. This means that you have three pairs of wires that have three voltages across them that are out of phase from each other by 120 degrees. It's possible to simplify this six-wire, three-phase system even further by tying three of those wires together. If you pick any three wires and tie them together, you end up with a neutral point. As long as the load on your three-phase system is symmetrical, you can tie three wires of your load together as well. This is how most three-phase loads work. So now that we have a three-phase power supply, why would you want one as opposed to a normal single-phase power supply? given that it seems more complex. The main reason is to get nice even power from your supply. In a single phase supply, the voltage and current crosses zero throughout its uh, frequency. Every once in a while, the voltage will be zero or the current will be zero, which means the power will be zero. If you're powering a motor, that means the motor will feel torque, but only in little pulses. If you're powering a lighting load, that light will periodically be dimmer and brighter, as the power going through it goes up and down. In a three phase system that takes advantage of all three phases, all of these ups and downs are evened out. If you look at the graph of the voltage on the three phase power supply, you'll see at no point are all three phases at zero. This means you'll always be able to extract power from one line or the other at any point in time. If it's a three phase motor, that means the motor is always feeling torque. There's still a little bit of variation, but it's a lot less than in a single phase supply. If you were to rectify this to DC and use it to power a light bulb, the light bulb would not dim very much at all. The rectified three phase would actually be much smoother and almost DC when compared to rectified single phase AC. To demonstrate this, I've hooked up three light bulbs in a Y configuration to my three phase power supply, and I'm going to run them at a reduced frequency. That will make it a little easier to see that at no point in time are all three loads off. If this were a motor, you can imagine them being coils exerting torque onto the rotor. Or if this was uh, for a DC load, you can imagine the three light bulbs as parts of the rectifier. There's always current going through it, which means that there's always usable power coming out. And there's very little ripple. Hopefully I covered this uh, topic of three-phase electricity just enough that in my next video you'll be able to follow along as I show how I built my own three-phase induction motor. Thanks for watching.